Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the new and existing viewers and subscribers. It's lovely to have you join me. This is going to be a tarot reading um, and it is entitled You Need to Hear This. So there is a message here that maybe you need to hear for your situation, for your current partnership, your current romantic relationship. So um, it is about keeping an open mind and embracing and taking what resonates. Hopefully there is something here that does resonate with your situation. Um, so please remember if you would like a private reading with me, uh, my email is listed below in the show more section. Um, otherwise this can be for any sign watching. So they're gonna be uh, some urgent messages that you need to hear from the universe. Just, just some guidance in general. And I wanna crown the reading first and foremost with the King of Pentacles reversed, oh, sorry, the Knight of Pentacles reversed energy. That is what's crowning your reading about what you need to hear in your current situation. Okay, what's the focus? What's in the middle? The Wheel of Fortune um, is sitting in the middle. We've got the Lovers reversed and then we've got the Sun. Okay, so straight away some really powerful cards that have come up. We've got the Sun, the Lovers, the Wheel of Fortune, the Hangman. So four major arcana cards are coming up next to you here so if you're watching this it's very likely that you'll be faced with a lot of significant changes revelations um, new relationships or breakups there's a magnificent change that's happening right now but let's talk about the, the card that sits on top and this is the knight of pentacles reversed so what we have here is the Knight of Pentacles is about forward movement and about progression, okay? It's about taking steps forward in your own time. Um, and it is about being slow and steady and secure and comfortable. But when it's come up reverse, it's actually the opposite of everything I've described. And right now, the universe is telling you to take a step back in some sort of situation. It's about putting things on hold. It can be about endings. And it can certainly be about... Uh, even reversals, as in regressing or taking steps backwards, even backing away or backing out of a situation. If there is an element of doubt that's been cast on, on you, on your relationship, on whatever it is that you're doing in your love lives, it's very likely that all of these are coming out right about now. Um, and because the pentacles represent the physical realm, it can very much represent that right now, um, you shouldn't be taking any physical steps. And, you know, this is a bit of a disclaimer because for some, it could indicate that right now is maybe not the best time, uh, best course of action. But I want to point your attention to the Wheel of Fortune that sits below because the Wheel of Fortune is all about the cycle of things and things flowing to us freely and us attracting things in our, in our lives and in our situations. Um, but what we have here is the reversal. So it's indicating right now the Wheel of Fortune is like the things that we're wanting are not coming to fruition or they're not coming to fruition the way in which we'd like them to. Now, the Lover's card is reversed, so communication is reversed or there's not much con uh, communication or contact that's being made at this point in time. The focus, I think, for you, however, and the reason why you've been drawn to this reading maybe is because you've got the Sun card upright and the Eight of Pentacles. Now, I feel like there's a lot of personal growth that needs to happen for those of you watching this video. The sun is about things that are being illuminated to you. People's true colors, people's true intentions, what people are really ready for, what they're not ready for, where they stand in a situation towards you, where they stand romantically. The sun shines on all these sorts of areas. I notice the flowers coming to blossom here. This indicates there's an opening up of some kind that's happening here. So even though a part of you may feel with the Knight of Pentacles that things are stagnant and, you know, there's not much action that's being taken, that person isn't inviting you out to your date, you're not hearing from the ex, um, you haven't seen changes from a person, you haven't, um, someone hasn't responded to an ultimatum, for example, and, you know, it, it could be any sort of things happening, but basically it could indicate that the Eight of Pentacles is indicating that even though it feels like things are stagnant or there's reversals, things are actually opening up. Eight is a really good number. It's a positive number of abundance. Um, and what I see here is that there's a lot of self or individual abundance that's happening internally. So more to do with spiritual growth, perhaps. 
But I feel with the Sun card, it's going to illuminate. I think this lack of action on your part or this person's part is really going to illuminate some things that maybe you hadn't considered otherwise. It could almost be like there's a time and a place and a chance and opportunity to act, but it's not being taken. And I think in hindsight, it's this lack of action is is actually showing you someone's true intentions or their true feelings. And that's not always the easiest thing to hear. Um, you know, it's not always the easiest thing to go through. Um, but I think it must be something you will have to consider during this time frame. The hangman is reversed. You know, I think that's a good sign that the hangman is reversed here because normally when it's upright, it's this notion of feeling in suspense or waiting. There's a message here for you not to put your life on hold just because there's a lack of action that's happening right now. It doesn't mean that you should put your whole life on hold romantically, um, individually, professionally, whatever it is. There may have been something or someone you've been holding out for and it could indicate that instead of taking action, where there's no action happening, you can take action in other regards. There can be other things you can do. I would say the lovers is the soulmate card. It's the relationship card. It's the card of feeling closeness and feeling bondship with your person. The lovers reverse would indicate that they're not in a t and they're not in a place to talk or to open up. Or you might not be in the place to talk and open up. You might be in a place where you want to withdraw or you want to just be with yourself and and think about things, assess things. Um, and, you know, it's not always the easiest thing to, to, to do, but I feel like there may be signs from the universe that are telling you this is the time to do them. This is the time. This is the time to take the opportunity for yourself because right now there's a lack of action happening in X, Y, and Z areas of your relationship or of your life. Um, and I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, I always think of karma. We see karma here, the peacock, the serpent, the peacocks, uh, the serpent's wrapped around the peacock. The serpents are all intertwined. Everything is interconnected here, energetically, on a vibration, um, your love, your compatibility. It can indicate that you're still connected, maybe not in the most positive way, or you might not be where you want to be in a connection. You might not be in the ideal place. Um, it's almost like you've met this person and you think, you know, if, the, if they were just a little bit different, then they would be perfect. Or, you know, if this, if my lover didn't do X, Y, and Z, he would just be perfect and it'll all be hunky dory. You know, you, there, there might be a part of you thinking this way and there might be a part that is still connected so that there is still a connection here, even though you feel things aren't progressing or even though you feel you're not seeing it in the physical spiritually, energetically, there is still a connection that exists. There is still some sort of bond or link or tie between you and this person. And just because things are reversed right now, it doesn't mean that they can't uh, they can't be re-reversed um, and put up upright. You've got the sun card. The sun card can be about new beginnings. So for some of you, it is about taking a step back or a step away um, or to withdraw from the situation. Why? Because there's a new beginning in the picture. There's a new person, a new relationship, a new relationship with yourself, a new relationship with a new person, the beginning um, of a second chance. So the sun is telling you to be open. Try to take each day as it comes. Why? Because the sun is youthfulness. It's the, ch it's the inner child. And if our inner children could speak to us today, what would they tell us? You know, they wouldn't be plagued with thoughts of what's going to happen five days from now, five weeks from now, five years from now. They are so consumed with the present and what's in the moment and what is happening right before them. So before we get carried away with our thoughts of, of the future and, you know, how, they, how is this going to go down and what are they going to say here and um, what if this happens or what if this doesn't happen? There may be a, a very encouraging and a very gentle message here um, that it's wise to keep in touch with the present. It's wise to stay in touch with the present um, and to remember that things are open, opportunities open, hearts are open, even though right now it may not seem it, in time we have these powerful flourishing of the sun card. We've got this illumination, we've got lessons learned, we've got seeing things with a clear vision. So, you know, and this, this could appeal to different people in different ways. It's a clear vision of, wow, I want to end up with this person. It's a clear vision of, I want to leave them. It's a clear vision of, you know, I want them in my life. They're the one. It's almost like we see things that illuminated that have been in the darkness. 
So, and, and I feel like there, there will be surprising epiphanies and realizations for a lot of us during this time. Um, so I do hope this reading has helped. Thank you again for tuning in. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this content and also to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification button um, and we shall be in touch very, very soon. So lots of love, healing and we shall be in touch very soon. Bye for now.